So, I am sure that most of you are already aware about what is going on in the city of Benin concerning the confraternity war between Black Ass and Supreme Aya Confraternity. Because these two groups have decided that there is not going to be any peace between them in the city of Benin. They have basically turned the confraternity war into an infinity war because they really don't want to stop fighting. The last time we discussed about this on this platform, on this YouTube, was exactly two weeks ago. It was on the 28th of February, to be precise. And since that 28th of February till now, these people have been very busy. So in this video, we are going to take a look at the review of what has been going on in the city of Benin. Because multiple people have been shot and multiple people have also been brought down and multiple people have also been brought down and everything that i'm going to say in this video is according to words on the streets and according to both sides of the groups because most of the time they really don't say exactly the same thing but we are just going to drop the update as it comes but before i go into this particular Benin city update i want to remind you guys that there is a confraternity clash in the city of auchi in the same edo state and this clash is is between Black Ass and Supreme Vikings confraternity. And according to what was explained, according to what happened, it is said that some Black Ass members were gathering in a lobby, I think a lobby of a hotel and something like that. And a member of Vikings was also there and the member of Vikings was trying to connect his telephone to the Bluetooth, maybe the Bluetooth speaker in the place. So one of the Black Ass members approached the Vikings members and asked him who told him to connect his phone to the speaker the vikings member said no one he just wanted to connect the phone to the speaker so the black ass members that were there got angry they collected the phone from the member of vikings they seized the phone and the vikings member left so he went to tell his members and about two of his members returned with him went to meet the black ass members unfortunately they didn't know that there were a lot of black ass members there people said they were about 10 some people said they were up to 30 black ass members there so when these vikings members got there they demanded that the black ass members returned the phone that is when some black ass members got angry went to their car brought out glasses and ass and they just started cutting the members of vikings they said these young men were saved because they have automobile so it was basically light injury and the young men ran away so that very night i posted a quick update told you guys that there has been a problem in the city of ouch that two people were saved by god because they said that the black ass members run enter the young men however vikings members got angry and they went into the street looking for members of black ass they were able to find a young man who is a member of black ass they also caught the guy with cutlass and collected his phone and ever since the city has been kind of tense and this happened about three days ago you should know that something is going on around there and try to be safe try to be careful so with that out of the way let's dive into today's video so the last time we spoke about the confraternity war in benin city was when we talked about the alleged bringing down of someone's father and we also posted a voice note regarding that particular incident although a lot of AM members said that never happened and that video was posted on the 28th of february 2024 and on the 29th of february this young man continued a young man is said to have been shot in an area called area they said it is close to Igon right there in Benin city the young man that was shot is a member of area and it is said that he was shot by some black ass members but luckily for the young man he survived the hit and the picture of him when he was in the hospital his mouth was completely finished and on the 1st of March 2024 the confraternity war which is now basically an infinity war between these two groups continued a young man is said to have been brought down around Ubawa area in Benin city and they say this happened at the back of CJ the young man that was brought down is said to be a member of black ass and he was brought down by some AM members and fast forward to the evening of that very day two young men were brought down around Testami road to Siloko area these two young men that were brought down were said to be members of AA and they were brought down by some black ass members and there is a voice note that explained 
how this particular thing happened. Although some AM members have said that the two young men are not their members, that the two young men are innocent. But the black ass members have said that the two young men are members of AA. And I am just telling you everything according to the ways on the street. So let me quickly play this voice note for you guys so you can hear the explanation when someone was explaining how these two people we are brought down by some black ass members. Yes, now you suppose to know this boy now, Sarojona. You don't talk and finish him, brother. I just want to follow you. You know, now, Sarojon. Now they all dropped yesterday. Oh, yeah, Toma. They see they all dropped them yesterday. See now, years you could drop them for that uh, former street. See now, years you could drop them. Oh, see they use a laser stick comb. As they use laser stick comb, see the first drive go the hospital. That the virus too. Say as they reach the virus too, they drive good junction to back. Eh, that junction where we now they again. They say as they drive, see they all lights. Uh, they all the lasers, black lasers lights. Say they all now down. They reach uh, junction again. They use black. Say they come again. Sarodia and uh, that Tom out they call Dugo. Say they that they before we they said. Plus one man and the Sarodia last born. Say they stay said. Before you know now, they call a uh, uh, drive back go. They cost off for a dad in the hospital. As they stop for dinner, say four of them call Konda. They call me only the driver for the motor. They call Waka Kong. As they near where Toma did, they, so they shoot Toma. Saradon, before Saradon see me run, it's not up now. They shoot him for leg. As they Waka reach here, they say they shoot, shoot him for head. Um, when I go that side this morning, tears, I know if he sleeps since yesterday, where they tell me, where they call me, tell me. Tears for my eye, if you see Saradon head. When I look up for video, Jesus, they bought this boy head. Brain, brain, this is a radio brain open, God. I, so, I know say you supposed to know this guy. I, yes, I used to cry, God. Ah, if you read, when I read that, I said this morning, Jesus, I did pain. They put those people, they all put their, these people for pain. It's a radio, ah, to like this boy. This boy be the first place to always wish me happy new month. Now fast forward to the next Sunday, I think it was on the 3rd of March 2024. This particular young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down around the church premises. A lot of people said he was on his way to church and he was chased by some hit squad while other people said that he was in the church and they called him outside the church and they brought him down. This young man is said to be a member of Black Eyes and he was brought down by some AA hit squad. And after this happened, another update came that a young man who has been manned for about 20 years was brought down around a community called Ekeadolo right there in Benin City. They said the young man is a member of Black Eyes and he has been having a melter problem for a very long time. The young man is said to have been brought down by some AA members in the place where he sleeps and a lot of people were really surprised about this because they couldn't even allow the young man be manned in peace. Confraternity is really evil. And after this happened, another update came that a young man who is said to be a member of AA was shot around GRA area. They said the place is called Eriri. The young man was lucky enough to survive this particular hit and when they were interviewing him, he said he was surprised. He was just sitting on his own and the next thing he saw that someone pointed a tool at him. The next thing he heard was boom 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 and he had to run away with a bullet in his body. But luckily for him, he was able to survive. As a matter of fact, it is said that it was two people that was shot around that Eriri area by the black ass members and the two AA members that were shot in that particular area survived and fast forward two days later a young man is said to have been brought down around a seal right there in Benin City and this young man that was brought down is said to be an handicap and he is a shoemaker the young man is also said to be a member of AA and he was brought down by some black ass members. So this is what I really don't understand. This confraternity hate squad in the city of Benin, they don't have compassion for someone who have mental problem, someone who is mad. And they don't have compassion for someone who is an handicap. 
Immediately you are a confraternity member. They really don't care your condition, your mental or your physical condition. If they see you, they are going to bring you down during confraternity war. And this is just surprising to me. And in the midst of all these confraternity problem that is going on in the city of Benin, some black ass members had a problem with some vigilantes. And it is said that two black ass members started beating up one vigilante. And they beat the young man to the extent that the young man died he went down while they were beating him at the end of the day it was discovered that the vigilante member that they beat up that they brought down is also a member of black ass zero three two not to control the charlie ego of slow command others they actually able to slow control control by me with dollar with a direct operation on my stick of nato so it all happened this afternoon time between my office here. I was I was in the office when a group of boys called to my office, started fighting my officer. When they called me, I tried to run down to my office here. Started, I see them, what I would have started shouting, cause this issue, I asked my ass man. The next thing, they started fight, fighting my officer. What I can see, using wood bottle, everything, fight. So we don't have to take uh, uh, unnecessary action with us because uh, by the way they will say that do this but I do that so we have got to use our country what, what, what happened they hit my boy down I speak to you now the very boy now is in the hospital the boy is in the hospital now to this uh, 7 of March this is about about uh, 4 4.15 this every time 4.15 this every time so I speak to you, the, the, the dead bonus is the mortuary. We have been in mortuary since, the one or two things. By grace, we arrested five of those boys, five of those boys inside now. They are in number market division now. So we are through the investigation how to get the many people that uh, fight, that, uh, that, that uh, beat this boy to death. So that's the information from now. So we wanted the authority to interfere on this issue now. That's my message, over. A lot of things are going on in that city of Benin. So let's go back to the story. So after that happened, on Tuesday, there was another update that a young man was brought down around Secular Road and this happened in a place called Ozola and the person that was brought down is said to be a member of black ass and he was brought down by some am members another young man was brought down around ogida and the young man that was brought down is said to be a member of aa he was brought down by some young men who are said to be members of black ass and a lot of people are saying that this particular young man used to be the leader of aa in the place where he practiced i really don't know this is just according to ways on the streets and again around the Siloku road and the Testami road that same particular circle another young man who is said to be a member of AA was brought down and it is also said that he was brought down by some black ass members fast forward to the evening of that day a young man is said to have been brought down around Isio very close to evidence and upon investigation it is said that the young man is a member of black ass and he was brought down by some AM members. These confraternity members really don't care to stop because yesterday another young man was said to have been brought down and that person that was brought down was said to be a member of Black Eyes and he was brought down by some AM members. However, the Black Eyes members have said that the young man is not their member, that he has never been a member of Black Eyes. And the people that also know the young man say that he doesn't belong to any confraternity, that he is innocent. And as we speak, Benin City is still very hot. I'm sure for those of you that are in the NV family Telegram and the NV family WhatsApp, you must have seen when I posted some of the tools that was recovered from some black ass members by the vigilante. They said the black ass members ran away. I think they were being chased. I really don't know. But the black ass members left the tools behind and it is said to be an AK and also a pump action. And for those of you that are not on the Telegram, I'm going to leave the 
link in the comment section below because a lot of things are going on in the city of Benin. And if there is anything that I have left out or if there is anything that is not factual or correct, please just politely leave it in the comment section. Anyway, you are watching Nigerian View.